In the previous lecture, we have learned how to do the automate meshing. So when we do the automate meshing, you will see we, we get a mesh like this. So we need to improve the mesh flow and mesh quality by doing the remesh. So if I try to do this on complete geometry, it is going to take a lot of time. It will take a couple of hours to do the complete part. Even sometimes it may take days to do the meshing of this types of part. So now, so it is not possible for me to show you the complete mesh. So I have already show you how to do the remeshing of small region. So once we did the auto mesh, we need to apply a thickness to the element. Okay, so later on we will also learn how can we do the meshing manually so that we don't have to waste our time doing the remeshing again and again. Okay, so we are going to cover that in upcoming lectures. So now we are going to learn how to apply the thickness. So to apply the thickness in hypermesh we have a algorithm that is automatic thickness option. If you go to mesh and here you need to go to the assign option in this assign you will see mid mesh thickness. So in this mid mesh thickness it is asking first option it is going to select the whether we have solid or any surface. So we have solid here. Now for the element, we need to select element here. Now we have two options here, property on element and property or component. So when I select the property on element, it is going to assign the property directly to the element. It will not create the component. But for beginner, I will suggest you to use this option property on component. So it will create separate component. Okay. So the type of card because this is a shell we are going to use P shell. Now we have minimum or maximum thickness we are not going to check it. I will take automatic option. Here you will see the thickness range. It means what will be the gap between thicknesses 0.1, 0.2 let's say 1.1, 1.2 etc or 1.2, 1.4 by taking the gap of 0.2 then absolute or relative. So I can select relative as a default. Similarly here uh, in all other settings like automatic now click on solid solid click on displayed click on proceed go to element 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 displayed proceed now click on calculate thickness so now you can see it is checking the thickness values so it will take some time to assign the thickness for the mesh and here you can see it is creating multiple components in each component the element with same thickness will be assigned now so now you can see it has completed the thickness assignment so i will click on close here now let's check the element so first what i do here i will select by element thickness so with this you will see a range of colors. Pink means it is a thickness of 8.994 here. So you will see where is the pink color. Okay, then you can see this violet color. This is 3, 2.1. I can also change the color here. Click on this color and we can change it which we want. Okay, so also I will go to by component. So now let's check the element. So I will make a right click here, go to isolate only. You will see these component. You will see these element has this thickness of 0.76. Similarly, let's say I will show these element press F. Similarly, all these element one by one. So here you will see the thickness. So after the thickness is assigned, we need to check whether it is correct or not. So we need to check whether it is correct or not. So I will turn on this CAD here to check the thicknesses. What we can do is we can go to this option of here 2D detailed representation. Okay, so once it is selected, it is going to show thickness in the part. Here you can see. Let me show you from this edge. Here you can see if I turn off this option, you will see thickness like this. When I turn it on, you will see thickness like this. So here you can see thickness is proper but it will not be proper in complex part let's say okay not here if we go to the complex areas like this also here you will see 
the thickness is not proper you can see this cat is here cat line is here but the thickness is going here so we need to correct it by applying the proper thickness so again once the automatic thickness is assigned we need to correct it okay so similarly here you will see thickness is not proper okay so to change the thickness or to properly apply the thickness what we can do is we need to measure the thickness first and then put the element in the respective component for example here you will see i will turn on the solid mesh here here you can see the thickness of this element is not proper so for this element we need to check the thickness so to check the thickness what we have to do is press shift plus f7 now here hold down the left click of the mouse and click in somewhere you will see a node will be created so duplicate it node duplicate duplicate once again self project so i will select opposite surface for the projection project it so you can see two nodes will be created click on wireframe in the top and the bottom so press f4 and measure the thickness you can see thickness is 3.03 turn on the solid geometry so thickness 3.03 is here you can see this is a thickness 0.3 so in these elements you can see the thickness is proper okay so so in this way we can apply the automatic thickness so now in the next lecture we are going to learn how to do the meshing manually and how to change the thickness how to apply the thickness manually